Hello fellow Trekkies and welcome back. Some huge news this week. Some sad, but possibly very exciting. All of this coming at you in 3, 2, 1. Star Trek Lower Decks will conclude with its fifth and final season. Creator Mike McMahon and executive producer Alex Kurtzman confirmed the news in a touching tribute to the series and its fans. Here's what they had to say. To the fans, we wanted to let you know that this fall will be the fifth and final season of Star Trek Lower Decks. While five seasons of any series seems these days like a miracle, it's no exaggeration to say that every second we've spent making this show has been a dream come true. Our incredible cast, crew and artists have given everything they have because they love the characters they play, they love the world we've built, and more than anything, they love, love Star Trek. We're excited for the world to see the hilarious fifth season, which we're working on right now. And the good news is that all previous episodes will remain on Paramount+. Plus. So, there's so much to look forward to as we celebrate the Cerritos crew with a big send-off. Finally, thank you for always being so creative and joyful, fulfilling convention halls and chanting Lower Decks. We remain hopeful that even beyond Season 5, Mariner, Boimler, Tendi, Rutherford and the whole Cerritos crew will live on with new adventures. So that last paragraph is very interesting. What could new adventures mean? Now there is currently a petition to save the show. They currently have 6,184 signatures out of 7,500. The link is in the description if you want to help the cause. However, is it possible that this cancellation is due to other plans for the characters as they are promoting yet again, they can no longer be considered lower decks. So, could it be time for Star Trek Cerritos? Let us know your thoughts. What could this show be about? Could the plot just simply focus on our beloved characters and what goes on? Would the show just be lower decks with a different name? What kind of missions would the characters go on? What new characters could be in this show? Tell us more down below. Star Trek Strange New Worlds will return for a fourth season. Co-showrunners Akiva Goldsman and Henry Alonzo Mears and executive producer Alex Kurtzman confirm in a statement, which reads as follows. On behalf of the cast and crew of Strange New Worlds, we are thrilled and grateful to continue our voyages together. We can't wait for you to join us and the crew of the Enterprise for another season to explore and adventure. The third season is set to debut in 2020. 25. It is officially underway, with production continuing in Toronto. On April 11th, 2024, at their CinemaCon presentation, Paramount Pictures have officially announced on their list of films slated for 2025 and 2026 a film called Untitled Star Trek Origin Story. The studio also confirms the previously reported details. The film is set decades before the original 2009 Star Trek film. Toby Haynes, the director of Andor and Black Mirror's USS Callister, is directing based on a screenplay by Seth Graham Smith, who wrote the Lego Batman movie, with J.J. Abrams returning to produce. Janelle, Star Trek Discovery Season 5 Episode 3 dropped on Thursday. Without giving any spoilers for the episode, I can safely say that I was quite impressed with it. It made reference to past Trek in a very tasteful way. The characters have grown up a lot, which meant when the plot looked like we were heading towards a cliché, the conversation slash conflict was resolved in a very realistic way instead, which I liked. If you'd like a full breakdown, let me know in the comments below. There will be spoilers in that one though. Now over to gaming news. Thursday saw the introduction of a new feature in Star Trek Fleet Command, the War Room. You'll unlock the Strange New World mission associated with this once you reach level 21. Once you do, you'll receive a communication from Strange New World's Captain Pike asking for your assistance. Throughout these short missions, you'll unlock the War Room and the ability to earn War Chest rewards. There are also events currently running offering you extra rewards for upgrading your War Room. These include a very rare Dr. Membenga and a rare Sam Kirk. Star Trek Timelines have launched a new galaxy event, 
featuring Projector Spock, VST Riker, VST Garrick, and Batliff Mariner. This is also the beginning of the new mega event, Interstellar Irreverence. The team have also dropped a pic of the new FF slash FE Projector Spock, level 100. Timelines has also got some goodies for you, contained in their new free pack. The pack contains the brand new five-star character, Captain Raynar from Star Trek Discovery Season 5. He will be claimable from the Time Portal until May 7th. In the Lower Decks game, uncover a real can of worms at Fleet Con. Join the Core 4, Riker and William Boimler at Starfleet HQ for a historical celebration that quickly turns into a battle of wits and courage. Dive into the conspiracy, stop the coup and win the Defiant. Dress to impress with Mobster Mariner. Jump aboard the original Enterprise Surprise in a piece of the action and dive into the Roaring Twenties of Chicago, space style. Clean up the cultural mess and win Mobster Mariner costume. It's time to suit up and straighten out history. There's a lot going on in Star Trek Online this week. Here's an overview of everything that's going on in game. Celebrate First Contact Day and earn the new Photon Rifle. This ends on May 2nd. The Delta Recruitment event returns. Create a new Delta Recruit character and earn rewards for your account. This ends on May 2nd too. There's some sales coming. PC captains can get a 20% bonus for a limited time, which ends on the 18th of April. You can profit from 20% off Zen Packs on Xbox, PlayStation, and Epic Game Store. This ends in the Epic Game Store and Xbox on the 18th of April, but continues on to the 24th of April on PlayStation. The Constitution 2 of the Kelvin Timeline is now available in the Infinity Promo Packs. You'll have a chance to get this ship when you open Infinity Crafting Packs or Infinity Duty Officer Packs on PC from now till May 2nd. Remember, this is considered gambling as the drop rates for these ships are incredibly low. Keep that in mind mind before you take part in this event. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters for helping to make all these Priority One Armada shows and streams possible. Well, that's it for this week's Trekking Out the News. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Follow us on Twitter at P1Armada and check out our website www.priorityonearmada.com for more information on our Star Trek Online in-game fleets. And join us every Saturday for the Priority One Armada live stream where we go more in-depth on this week's Star Trek Online news and take you, the viewers, on an away mission to earn in-game loot. Viewers can also win loot by entering our giveaways during each live stream. There's every Saturday at 9pm US Eastern on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. We host a range of other streams throughout the week focusing on different Trek games and news. If you want to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on all the latest Star Trek Online news. That's it from me. Live long and prosper.